<laughs> Shh. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Movie Meals? Movie Meals! What is up, guys? I got a stuffed wolf on my head, and it's time to talk about King Arthur. What was it? King Arthur, Legend of the Sword? Legend of the Sword. <sighs> yep. All right. <laughs> We're going to talk about, you know how this works, we're going to talk about them good things and bad things, and we're going to give it a score out of 10, and I'm going to go first because I have to tell you guys something very, very important. I know Kyle so well. In our 17 years, going uh, very, very close to 18 years of friendship, I know this man so well, and we hit about the eight-minute mark into this movie, and I went, yep, Kyle's going to hate it. <laughs> And I was like, he's going to be bored. He's going to be moody when we get out. He's going to like be like, I don't like it. And I knew it. And every one of those things happened. Every yeah. single one. Mm -hmm. Now, mm. let's look at the facts. <laughs> I, <laughs> I did enjoy this movie. Um, a little. I enjoyed it a little. Um, I like Guy Ritchie a lot. <laughs> and... Okay, we'll put him down. And Thank we'll, you. Um, I, I like Guy Ritchie a lot. I love the man from Uncle Last Film. He did. I yeah. do like both the Sherlock Holmes films. Mm -hmm. I need to see a few more of his older films, but I do like yeah. Guy Ritchie. And I think there are a lot of moments where this movie really doesn't work, and I think there are a few moments where it really does work. And I know the critics are panning this movie. Uh, a lot of critics we follow and like a lot. I've actually really enjoyed this movie. And I gotta say, I'm somewhere in the middle, leaning towards not as much. And I, I think with Guy Ritchie's style, it it got a little. There were times I thought it worked—the craziness, the action, the sound, everything. I thought it worked very well. And there were times it was like, okay, I really just don't even know what's going on at this point. I don't even really know what's kind of happening for a second. Uh, and so that bothered me. They took a really—I don't think the plot is bad. I think the idea they have in this script is very drawn out into a longer film. And I think Guy Ritchie's style sped it all up so much that that's where some of the chaos comes from. Um, I didn't think... I actually did like Charlie Hunnam for what he was given. Um, I thought he did really well in that role. I, I like a lot of the actors in there. The main uh, mage... We won't, we won't give away spoilers, but the main mage <laughs> is, a, is a, a female character. And there were a few moments I was like, she is really... Like, I really like what she's doing. And there were a flaw moments she was just monotone and kind of kind of met. And um, I didn't know if it was like... So, and maybe I am wrong. Maybe Guy Ritchie said, no, I want you to be... To, to perform this way. So I don't know if that's her fault or the director's fault in this case. But I think there were a lot of moments she was very monotone and very, very plain... Uh, but I did enjoy parts of this film. I thought some of the action really worked. That they were very quiet. I mean, quiet in a Guy Ritchie film. And it's pretty chaotic with a lot of loud noise. But I thought there were moments that it was really good. Um, I did like that they, you know, went with the, the round table. They went with, you know, they had a little bit of the, the old school lore. So, uh, yeah, those are kind of my negatives and positives all uh, bundled together. So, Kyle, how much did you hate it? Well, Alex, 17 years of friendship must have really paid off because you nailed exactly how I felt about this movie. <laughs> I, I literally, eight minutes in, I said to, and because that's when you said something out loud that you were annoyed with, and yeah. I, and it, or it was just before that, and I remember being like, oh my gosh, Kyle's absolutely not liking this movie, and then all of a sudden you were like, why is this happening? And I was like, yep, this is, he absolutely, but by the way, shut your mouth in the theater. <laughs> that was the one time. <laughs> no, I'll get that it, was You're one right. time, and it was an honest to God question. No, um, I did not like this movie. Now, like mm. you, I am a fan of Guy Ritchie, like you said. I like the Sherlock Holmes movies, and uh, I really enjoyed The Man from U.N.C.L.E. I really mm. thought that was one of the standouts when it came out a couple of summers ago. Uh, but I felt like this director and his style did not work with this kind of movie. I felt like with the way that he was taking things, to an, taking things into his own vision, it just wasn't panning out the way it was supposed to. I felt like this entire movie <coughs> was obnoxious. I felt like it was loud. I felt like the uh, editing styles that he was trying to do was... You're hard. obnoxious and loud. <laughs> but I'm not a movie, okay? I'm just a guy on YouTube trying to tell you how it is. I'm just a guy. <laughs> it could be your theme song. But I thought the editing was was very bad. I thought it was a very poor job. And I understand what they were trying to do with the editing. They were trying to really? make the plot go faster, but at the same time keep the story flowing. But to me, it just felt all over the place and confusing. And this movie was especially confusing to me. I felt like 
as they were trying to explain more and more of the plot and like what these characters are supposed to be doing, what's going on, it just left you with more questions than answers. I felt the same confusion happened during all, most of the action scenes, if not all of them. Um, yeah, this movie was just all over the place. It fell flat to me. I felt it was actually very boring as well. Like I was not getting indulged into this movie. Like I wish I did. I wish I liked this movie. Um, but to me, this movie just fell flat. It felt confusing. I thought the editing was very poor, as well as the writing. I also thought the writing was definitely one of the weaker points. Very cheesy dialogue. I did not like any of the lines that were uh, throughout this whole movie, which is a shame because I thought that these actors were trying very hard. Like this was <coughs> a pretty good cast. I thought Charlie Hunnam was actually one to stand out for me in this movie. I thought. <laughs> he was just embracing this role, and that uh, he was just trying to have enough charisma to carry through the movie, but even that was enough for me to get uh, indulged in it. I do want to give Guy Ritchie props, though, because he took this in a different direction. I think a lot of other directors would have been like, all right, this has got to be a dramatic, intense you know, moment. And some of Charlie Hunnam's little one-liners I actually kind of enjoyed. I thought the way he delivered them worked. Yeah. Um, but I I mean, I, I got to disagree with you. I mean, I don't... I don't think the script is to blame. I do. Th I do agree that the Hard editing is is. I mean, I don't think so. I think it's it's cr it's shrouded through this fast paced editing, and you can't you don't really get a chance to really listen and focus in on the dialogue because it's so freaking fast and it's so quick. Yeah. So I don't even. I don't think I, personally. I don't think it's fair to knock the script, but that's just me, and that's why I have a wolf. Anyway. Um. Okay. <laughs> never never doubt me. Or the wolf. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, it is an interesting. It was an interesting movie for sure. I liked the way they went. I liked the magic and stuff. But I mean, it would have been interesting to see to see somebody with another director have taken this property and to wonder what they would have done with it because they would have yeah. had to cut some stuff out because you can't have so because it was so fast because it was Guy Ritchie and he yeah. he really sped through a lot of plot points. Um, so I mean, that's that's the movie, man. The movie we watched. Yeah, that pretty much sums My up. score out of ten. <laughs> what do you think? That's what I was thinking too. We're gonna go a six out of ten. Five point five out of ten. Did you and the wolf just agree on that again? Don't, I, don't <laughs> pretend like you can speak to him. I'm not. I'm not. I'm asking He's you. He's my partner. That's five. Totally I'm gonna fine. go five point five out of ten, leaning towards the six area, but I. When I think back, I'm going to think of more of the chaotic points than the few little moments I actually enjoyed. Yeah, uh, for me, it's a 4 out of 10. I thought this movie felt very flat, and I thought Guy Ritchie's style didn't quite work for what this movie was trying to be. And like I said, I really like Guy Ritchie. I hope that his next movie nails it out of the park. I just don't think that this was it. Um, and I felt like there was a lot more problems than a lot of good things in this whole movie. So for me, it's a 4 out of 10. All right, guys, what did you think? Did you check out King Arthur this weekend? What other movies are you looking forward to? The summer is ramped up. We got, yeah. we got our Guardians review. Have you seen Guardians? <laughs> up? Oh, no. Wolf. Up on our channel. Uh, we've got uh, the new It trailer reaction. We've got the, uh, what was the other trailer that just dropped? Uh, Blade Runner. Yeah, the Blade Runner you. 2049 trailer. We got our reaction up as well. Um, we're gonna, we got Alien Covenant coming next week, I'm sure, uh, hopefully we might not be in the same place, but hopefully one of us can get a snack time review up for you guys, for so, sure. so what did you think of the film, comment below, check out everything on our channel, and mom, thanks for watching, see you guys.